Quick Tools is a collection of GNU-style command line tools for working with Quick Files. They're useful by themselves, but they're also quite useful in creating shell scripts to automate your creative workflow. Now, currently there are six tools available. There's Pack, Unpack, Wad, Unwad, bsp to wad and QMount. All right, let's take a look at how these commands work. First, let's talk about the Unpack tool. Unpack is used to extract files from a Quake Pack archive. You can also use Unpack to get a listing of the files contained in the archive. You can do this with the dash dash list parameter and specifying the archive you wish to get a listing for. Here we can see we have 18 million bytes spread across 339 files. Okay, let's extract those. We're going to unpack. We're going to specify pack 0pack Optionally, I'm going to give it a dash D parameter to specify an out directory, which is going to be dot slash pack zero. And we've completed. We can change directories now to pack zero and do a directory listing. And there are the files that we expect to see. Next, let's talk about the pack tool. Pack is used to add files to a Quake Pack archive. This can be done with pack, the name of the archive. So for our example purposes, let's call it example.pack. And then let's add the demo.cfg file to it. Okay, it's done. Now if we use unpack to get a listing of our example pack file, we should see, yep, the demo cfg file is there. Next, let's talk about the unwad tool. Unwad is used to extract files from a Quake WAD archive. Note this is the WAD2 format, not the Doom WAD format. You can get a listing of a WAD file's contents using the dash dash list parameter. Note here I have three MIP textures in this particular WAD. We can also extract these contents, specifying the WAD file and an optional out directory which I'm going to call out for simplicity. And I've extracted my three MIP textures as pings. Next, let's talk about the WAD tool. The WAD tool is used to add files to a Quake WAD archive. You can do this with WAD, the name of the archive. So let's create an example.wad. And let's also add this skfloor0 underscore zero dot ping file. The tool will automatically convert ping files into MIP textures. We can check this with unwad dash dash list example. There it is. We can also redirect from standard input to capture multiple files at once. Or for an example, let's do dir star dot ping slash b. This will give us all the names of the ping files in this directory. Now what we can do is we can redirect this to wad and let's call this all dot wad. And you can see it added the three textures. You can check this with unwad dash dash list all the wad. And there we go. Next, let's talk about the BSP to wad tool. This is a pretty straightforward tool in that it creates a wad file from a given BSP file. So for example, let's use e1m1. And now we can check, see that it has created a e1m1.wad, good. And if we use unwad dash dash list e1m1.wad, we can see that it contains 81 MIP textures. Finally, let's talk about the QMount tool. The QMount tool will mount a given Quake Pack archive as a drive or logical volume on your operating system. Just specify the pack file you wish to mount. To better illustrate this, I'm also going to provide the optional parameter file-browser to open up an explorer window. You can see that pack 0pack has been mounted to my local Q drive, and now I can add a new text file. Let's call this zzz.txt. Okay, done. And now I can press Control c and you can see that the changes have been updated to pack 0pack We do an unpack dash dash list pack 0.pack we should see that our zzz.txt is now included in the pack file. I know that was pretty quick but hopefully that was a helpful high level overview of how the tools work. You can get the tools on my itch.io page at joshua.itch.io slash quake-tools 
there you can download them for free or if you want you can give me a buck or two it's appreciated but not necessary it's also an open source project which can be found on my github page at github.com slash joshua skelly slash game dash tools there it's a part of a larger python package for working with video game file formats also don't worry about uh, writing all this down it will be somewhere in the notes there i promise <laughs>